What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're going to be talking about the Nun 2 in this video here today. I wanted to do a quick video just going over a more detailed plot description that has yet to be revealed but was shared with me from somebody who has already gotten a chance to see the trailer. They already got to see some of the stuff I'm assuming was showcased at CinemaCon this past week. Uh, they actually saw this before the CinemaCon presentation and they shared this with me not too long ago. And I wanted to kind of just dive in and share what you could expect to see in the upcoming Nun sequel, more specifics about the story and also link in the description, a video that kind of backs up what this synopsis is saying because it validates a casting call of character names that they were looking for almost a year ago at this point when the Nun 2 was about to go into production and it confirms some other important plot specifics that haven't flat out been stated but are becoming more incre increasingly uh flat out blatant as time goes on because it's coming out later this year i believe in september but we know this is coming from director michael chaves it has tyson farmiga back as sister irene we know storm reed is involved in this project caitlin rose downey bonnie aarons is back obviously is valak and jonas B block blockette who we know stars as frenchy i believe so this thorough description says the highly anticipated sequel to the hit 2018 supernatural horror film, The Nun, and the ninth installment in the Conjuring Universe film franchise set in 1956 is four years after the events of the previous film. Sister Irene thought she had succeeded in banishing the powerful demon Valak from our world, but she didn't realize that the terrifying entity instead escaped hiding within the body of Irene's ally, Maurice Frenchie who unknowingly now sports the telltale inverted crucifix on the back of his neck. Frenchie has since moved on from Romania to a small town outside Paris, living a quiet life where he works as a groundskeeper at St. Mary's School, where he has recently come out of his shell and befriended the shy, sweet 10-year-old Sophie, who was tormented and bullied by a group of 14-year-old girls led by Antoinette, Frenchie is Sophie's only real ally, along with her sister, Lisa, who is portrayed by Storm Reed. So that is Storm Reed's role in the upcoming film, apparently, who tries to who tries her best to stand up for Sophie. But while the two sisters can just about cope with the bullies at school, Sophie soon finds herself up against a powerful force that she cannot withstand when Valak now makes makes her its next target. And after a priest at the school is murdered, Frenchie slowly realizes the horrifying truth that Valak has returned because of him. Now, he must call on Sister Irene to once again exercise that demonic presence that he unintentionally brought to this town if they are to save the life of this little girl and the other children at St. Mary's and put a stop to this demonic terror once and for all in this terrifying next chapter of the Conjuring storyline. So it seems like that is how sister irene will play a factor in terms of coming to the school frenchie might reach out to her and also what this description gives us is some context as to what is happening with wrench frenchie in between that first and now this second movie frenchie as we know was revealed to have been possessed by valak at the end of the first movie but it would appear according to this description that he has unknowingly been carrying this with him for the sake of plot convenience more than anything because why has valak been dormant for the past four years valak hasn't done anything but now all of a sudden because we're at school in in paris at saint mary's valak wants to start up some havoc why not start up some havoc previously valak why did you remain dormant <laughs> i mean whatever but Going off of that, it at least lets us know that Frenchie is someone who wasn't even aware of what was going on up until this incident that I assume was the very first incident that let him know that Valak was inside of him. Because we know ultimately from what we saw at the beginning of the first Conjuring movie, Maurice is going to come into contact with the Warrens at some point during this timeline. We're now, of course, seeing a prequel storyline play out before it gets to that interaction between Ed and Lorraine like we saw during the first movie. And now we know somewhat about Storm Reed's role. She's playing a protective older sister named Lisa. Uh, it backs up some of the character names that were again a part of that casting call. Characters like Antoinette, Sophie. I can't recall if Lisa was one of the names during that casting call. But again, I will leave a link to that other video I did down in the description. This video is almost a year old. And this was just a fun synopsis I wanted to share with you guys to give you a little bit more specific understanding of what is going on in The Nun 2. Uh, and it does kind of back up and go inside with this footage that was shown at 
CinemaCon as well. So you guys can let me know down in the comment section below if you're looking forward to The Nun 2, why or why not. Again, this is all but confirming from, well, it's not a confirmation because I'm not the studio, but it's basically all but a confirmation at this point that Frenchie is still possessed by Valak. We already knew the guy who played Frenchie was going to be involved, which was another indication, but this description and flat out is more or less confirming that that is the case. And it also at least lets us know again a little bit about Storm Reed's role. It lets us know that Frenchie as a character has not been aware of Valak even being inside of him, but this seems to be the event that would trigger it. You guys let me know again down in the comment section below if you're looking forward to the Nun 2, why or why not. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.